Hello everybody, Naya Nandez. How you doing again? I'm doing pretty good. I'm due told I got a lot of catching up to do here. Um, the story I'm going to tell you about today was in The Intercept and it was written by a fellow named Ryan Grimm. Now it's about that Oren Miller, that um, guy that was running for Slate in Sumter County in Florida. Villages, remember that? Okay, well here's the rest of the story to steal a line from somebody else. But anyway, Oren Miller was an elected commissioner in Sumter County, in the villages in Florida. That's a huge retirement community. They got their own like Piggly Wiggly. They got each place. There's so many different ones and they've got their own golf courses and stuff like that. They have a ton of stuff to do. They're giant communities. But anyway, him and a guy named Gary Search were running for this thing. So they uh, are usually the same number of candidates in a slate as positions available. So a slate could be when, for example, there are three seats available in city council. Uh, each party will put up um, three people to run for that seat, for each seat. There you go. So there's three seats, you put up three people. If there's four seats, you put up four. So anyway, back to Ora Miller. Him and Gary Search were running to overthrow, uh, to overturn a property tax hike on land, the developer, who also conveniently owns um, the villages. They wanted to overturn this giant tax increase. So the residents were pissed because apparently his increased taxes on the place weren't going to do any upgrades on the place, services, fixed roads, things like that. The tax would go to subsidize more development where he could build another villages. Or the villages. It just sounds weird, right? Um, he'd have uh, he'd have to pay more. They'd have to pay more in taxes so they could have their little white power Trump rallies. Remember that? During Trump's last rally there in the 2020 election there, you see the little guys going around their golf courts at the villages. White power, white power. Yeah. They thought they were paying too much taxes, so they didn't want to interrupt their prig because they didn't want to pay those taxes. Uh, the slate won. Even though they were unfunded compared to the management, they had to repeal the tax. Now, the guy that owns the villages said, not so easy. We're not going to do that. So now, enter the Republican Party interference in local affairs. The, um, the local GOP rep in the st uh, state legislature introduced a bill to block the repeal and got it passed because they weaponize their positions in government once they get them and they cheat and they flood the courts with Alina Hobbs, uh, Lena Hobbes style lawsuits, frivolous and unmerited. So anyway, Gary Search knew Ron DeSantis very, very well. So he had his cell phone number and he called him. Because he's also hosted a lot of DeSatan's uh, fundraisers. So he called Ron. And this is what Rotten Ronnie said to him. You are a little person. And I am a big person. I can squash you anytime I want. Said Rotten Ronnie in his high-heeled uh, cowboy boots. So, um, Ron DeSantis, jackboot lawyer launched an investigation. And that's when you do when there's no evidence, right? You launch investigations. Trump impeachment, Mayorkas impeachment. You launch investigations just to keep your eye off of what's happening over there. So that's what they do. Um, there was uh, trivial procedural uh, procedure accusations, just small little like paperwork things. So DeSantis removed or Miller from his office that he was elected to. The other elected commissioner was terrified at the thought that he might go to jail because he knows how his party works, right? So he came up with a plea deal. Orrin Miller didn't cave and said he wouldn't. Uh, he said he was innocent and said he wanted a trial. Well, he got charged with felony perjury. I guess that's all they could find. Uh, the MAGA judge denied him bail and sent him to the most violent prison in Florida for 75 days. 
That's right, while awaiting trial for allegedly violating a procedure. Right? Miller faced a series of bullshit in this case. It was full of holes that they said would likely get to overturned uh, on appeal. But indeed, he was found guilty, which he expected to be. So this is after spending 75 days in jail. He, was he wasn't allowed bail. He spent 75 days in jail in the worst prison in Florida. And while he was in jail, he was uh, denied his heart medication. The man was 73 years old. It's not like he was a spring chicken. Not like me, right? Um, so he lost a lot of weight, and he looked very unwell when he showed up for the trial. So they appealed it, and the story went viral. And folks started chipping in for his defense fund. And he raised over $50,000 for his defense fund to appeal this bullshit decision. Now, a three-judge panel on Thursday, just Thursday past, made up of all Republican appointees unanimously, unanimously overturned his conviction from uh, the lower court judge. And he didn't have much good to say about that judge either. So if he hadn't got that defense fund, he would probably still be in jail or prison by that time. Um, if he didn't have that defense fund, I don't know, there's some good people out there. Uh, the three-judge panel found Oren not only not guilty, but they found him to be innocent. So his name was cleared, and the part that pisses him off the most is that he's going to be able to vote in the next election. That's right. I wonder if he'll go Democrat now or uh, Democrat now. Because I'm pretty sure he's pissed at the Republicans, I'm just saying. But anyway, some more brown shirts and jack boots from Florida. Now I love you. Be good, be safe. Subscribe. Love ya.